What's up you guys and welcome back to my channel. For those of you who are already part of my family, thank you so much for joining me here once again today. For those of you who are new, welcome. My name is Kiera Selena. I am a licensed practical nurse and on my channel, I mainly talk about nursing and health, but we also do a bit of beauty, vlogging, and lifestyle. So if you are into any of those things, consider joining my family by subscribing and turning on your notification bell. That way you'll be notified whenever I post future content. In today's video, we are going to be talking about some of the bad habits you probably have, which is causing you to get your reoccurring yeast infection infections and bacterial vaginosis. Now, if you are one of those people who's trying to figure out which one you have, you're not really sure, I have the perfect video for you, which I will leave down in the description, right? On that video, I really talk about the differences between the two, the symptoms you may experience with either one, the way your discharge will look, smell, and everything that you need to really determine which one you have. For those of you who wanna know exactly what's happening in your body when you have either one, and you know how medications and stuff and lifestyle can affect you in a negative way and cause these infections or bacterial vaginosis, I also have another video for that. Both of them will be in the description, but for now, let's get into the video. First bad habit that's probably causing you to get your reoccurrent infections, okay? Baby, <laughs> we gotta get to the basics, and I'm so sorry that I know some of you guys are gonna say this is self-explanatory, but some girls out there don't really know this, and this is the basic, basic, basic thing. Y'all need to shower. Y'all really need to get in the shower. Now, look, I know some girls will argue that they don't really feel the need to shower in the morning because they don't feel like they're sweating or anything while they're sleeping. And although that may be true, obviously you're not gonna be sweating profusely in your sleep or anything like that, but you still sweat, you still move around, things are still happening, your sweat glands are still there, they don't disappear when the sun goes down, your sweat glands are still there at night and they're still up and they're still active. Obviously, you're not gonna sweat the same way you will during the day if you're running errands and things like that, but things still go on. So even if you don't wanna you know, do a head to toe shower in the morning, the least, least, least you could do, get in the shower, get that bar of soap, lather, lather up, okay? Rinse it out, pat dry. Do that for your armpits, do that for the booty, do it for the V area. It's just the basics, you just gotta do it, okay? Just, just do it, okay? Are you wearing cotton underwear? Are you? Are you? Now I know we like to be cute and we like to be sexy and stuff and that is fine. Be sexy during, during sexy time, okay? But when you're out, you're going to work, you're going to school, you're running errands, you're going to the grocery store, cotton underwear. Why? Okay, let me tell you why, okay? And remember this, remember this. We're gonna create an acronym to, so that we can remember this information. Bacteria thrives in dark, damp, cool areas. D, D, C. Dark, damp, cool areas. Now we know the V area is not necessarily the coolest area, okay? It's quite warm, usually. It should be, anyway. But it is definitely not the brightest or the shiniest and it is definitely not the driest area. We always have things going on. We have natural discharge that's there to basically clean and make sure that everything is going well. So our area is naturally a little bit moist, right? And that is normal. But with these satin underwears, what happens is they're not breathable. So you have all this discharge coming out and then it just stays there. You ever wear a satin underwear and you know, at the end of the day you take it off and the crotch area is just damp? Yeah, dark, damp cool area, right? Perfect environment for bacteria to thrive in. So make sure that you are wearing cotton underwear. Why? Because cotton underwear is breathable. Air can go through. The bee area needs to breathe. She needs to breathe, okay? So make sure that you are wearing cotton underwear. That way you're not just walking around with a damp crotch area, and that way bacteria is not thriving in that area to cause you to get a yeast infection, right? And even if you're going to wear, you know, satin underwear, make sure that the crotch area at least has that cotton type of padding in the middle. That way she can breathe. Trust me, you will thank me later. This also goes for tight jeans, tight shorts, tight leggings, tight underwear, tight anything. Once again, bacteria thrives in dark, damp, cool areas. So you want the area to be breathable. Nobody's saying don't wear your skinny jeans. Nobody's saying don't wear your leggings, but make it a sometimes type of thing, right? Sometimes switch it up and wear a skirt so that some air can pass, especially now during the summertime. Wear looser pants, right? Mom jeans can look really cute. You can dress them up. Or are they mom jeans or dad jeans? Y'all know what I'm talking about. You can dress them up. You know they're a little bit looser. Air can pass by. So make sure that you are also avoiding like these super tight clothing all the, the time. The next thing, a lot of girls do not know this, but you need to stop trying to make your cookie 
smell like what it's not supposed to smell like. I know that, you know, we're always lathering things on and we're always trying to mask and we're always trying to smell good and that is fine. Get in the shower, use your nice soaps. Just don't use them down there. Why? Because you have good bacteria that belongs there. And I spoke about this more in depth in my other video. Once again, that will be in the description. But your vagina has bacteria that is supposed to be there. And the responsibility of that bacteria is to protect the area and make sure that foreign bacteria that doesn't belong there isn't entering the area. Now, when you use these scented soaps or all these feminine washes, oh my God, Vagisil, let me not even go there. Okay, we'll talk about that later. But when you're using all these super scented soaps that are full in chemicals, what happens is you're killing your army, right? The V area is your country and you got your army, you got your soldiers. That's the bad bacteria that belongs there that's supposed to protect the area. And when you're using these scented soaps, you're killing your army. So now you have no army to protect your area and now all these foreign bacteria can just make their way in and just create a nest and create a home because there's nobody there to fight them off and to say, uh-uh-uh, you're not entering here. Right? So make sure that you are using unscented soap. My favorite, favorite Dove Unscented, Dove Unscented all the time. And if you want to use, you can also use some baby soaps. They have some unscented baby soaps. And these baby washes usually have more gentle, um, gentle ingredients that are just good for her. And that'll keep her happy. So stop killing your bad bacteria and, and causing yourself to, you know, get these infections. Now, let's talk about sex, okay? The third bad habit you probably have that is causing you to get your recurrent yeast infections or bacterial vaginosis, especially BV for this example, is having multiple sex partners and not using protection, okay? That is like the most common cause for BV. Don't get me wrong, you can still get BV even if you've been in a five-year relationship with the same sex partner. But what happens is, okay, your vagina is an acidic area. The pH of your vagina is naturally supposed to be acidic. And semen is alkaline, right? So when you're having unprotected sex and you get pre-cum or your partner is ejaculating in you or whatever, this alkaline, you're putting this alkaline fluid in this acidic area and it is disrupting your pH. And that is when you start to develop the foul smell and, you know, a bit of irritation and the, you know, really frothy type of looking discharge will, which once again, I spoke in depth about these symptoms in my other videos, so go check those out. But make sure that you are using protection if you have multiple sex partners. And even if you have the same sex partner, make sure that you guys switch it up sometimes. You can put a condom on sometimes, you know, or pull out at least so that you're not always getting these loads of alkaline fluids inside your, you know, acidic area, right? You know, so that you're not disrupting your pH all the time. And once again, I spoke about this in my other video as well, but after you have unprotected sex, I know that you want to lay there and you want to cuddle with your boo and you guys want to kiss and you guys want to, you know, I know. I know what it is, trust me. But you got to get up, you got to take that bar of unscented soap, you got to go in the shower, lather, rinse, then go back and you could cuddle all day with your baby, okay? But you gotta go rinse her out. Don't just let it marinate in there. That is just, it's, it's like calling for BB, okay? So make sure that you're rinsing after sex, that you're using protection, and that you guys are pulling out sometimes. Now let's talk about these feminine washes that tell you that they regulate your pH. BS, BS, if you look at the ingredient list behind these feminine washes, girl, full of chemicals. It is once again, just a call for yeast infection, a call for BV. And it's so funny because a lot of these companies that have these pH regulating feminine washes, they know what these products cause. And guess what? They have products for that exact symptom that you're, or not symptom, but side effect that they know the soap is gonna cause, right? You use these feminine washes that are full of chemicals that are once again going to kill all the good bacteria that's supposed to be, you know, in the V area. And then now you have a yeast infection, but they have the yeast infection cream for the, for the yeast infection they knew you were gonna get because they know how much BS they put in their feminine washes. Dove unscented soap or unscented baby wash. Period. Poop. That is just, it's it. It's, don't argue it, don't question it, just do it. No feminine washes, no scented soaps, no any of that. Pay attention to the ingredients on the back of your product that you are using. This is your body, this is your temple, you only get one, you gotta take care of it, you gotta make sure that you know what you're putting in and on your body, okay? If you don't respect it, if you do not take care of it, 
Nobody else can take care of it for you. You got to take care of it yourself. So pay attention to the things that you're putting on and inside of your body. And lastly, this goes once again with kind of what I was saying in my last point. Be careful with the things that you are putting in and on your body. Make sure that you are eating well. I'm not saying to go vegan, vegetarian, and to only eat veggies. That is not what I'm saying, but there has to be some type of balance. You cannot be eating cheeseburgers every day, baby. Take it from me, I'm your sister. Take it from me. You cannot be eating burgers and pizzas and sugar all the time. You gotta switch it up. You have to create a balance. So make sure that you are getting a good dose of your vegetables every day. Make sure that you're getting a good dose of your fruits every day. Hold on, let me show you. I have a green drink every single morning and I was gonna make my green drink after this video, but shout out to my neighbor, Nikki, who just brought me a green drink. He put mangoes in here. I think he said he put dragon fruit. He put a good, a whole bunch of just good stuff in here. So if you do not like eating vegetables, you know, you don't, you're not really the type to munch on a celery stick or munch on a cucumber or anything like that, then have it in a drink form. Juice them instead or blend them instead. You can, if you don't really like greens, I promise you, if you blend kale or spinach and you put some fruits in there, some mangoes, some apples, they can taste, it can taste really, really, really good. And you are giving your body a dose of exactly what it is that you need. So find a way to implement your fruits and your veggies, but you gotta freaking implement your fruits and your veggies. You can't ignore it. You can't just think that you are going to, you know, just drink juice every single day, just eat cheeseburgers every single day. Trust me, I went through a phase where I literally was not drinking water. All I was drinking was juice. And trust me, I could see it everywhere. I could see it on my face. My face was not cute. I was breaking out like crazy. The V area was not as popping as it should have been. Like, I felt like crap. Trust me, if you start taking care of your body, you will definitely see the difference. And you will not only see the difference, you will feel it. Once again, you only get one of this, and it is your responsibility to take care of it. And once again, drink, 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 drink. Make sure you are drinking water. Make sure you're flushing yourself out. Make sure you are detoxing. I'm actually gonna use this time to give a big shout out to Teamy Blends. I am a Teamy Blends partner. I spoke about their product in one of my last videos. I will link that video down in the description. But they have these wonderful detox and colon cleansing teas. Um, there is kind of a schedule. They give you a calendar. And it, you know, it basically guides you through which tea you have to use every single day. Usually when you get the tea, you get two of them. You get the skinny tea and you get the colon tea, right? The colon tea you use every two days. That makes you go to the bathroom. It definitely moves those bowels, baby. So, you know, make sure you're doing that to get all those toxins out of your digestive system. And then you also have the skinny tea, which is really filled with like amazing ingredients that are really good to cleanse your body, to boost your immune system. And it just flushes everything out. It makes you go to the bathroom a lot. You know, it makes your pee clear like Fiji water baby I am not even lying I would not come on here and lie to my family I vouch <laughs> I vouch for Teamy Blends I love their products if you guys want to see you know details about their products go see the other video I'll actually so show you some of the products so this right here is the Teamy colon cleanse um, this one they recommend that you take at night however I'm off for the next four days and I'm not going anywhere I'm home so I can afford to take it during the day I actually rather taking it during the day because I do not like waking up in the nighttime to go to the bathroom so I want to get it all out during the day <laughs> and then sleep like a baby at night but I love their products um, this is the bottle it comes in I love this bottle the quality of it is amazing and when you put your hot tea in it it's really good because there's two layers so you have like the actual like teamy bottle and then you have your tea that's in here so when you put your hot tea in it you don't really feel it you can still comfortably hold your bottle without holding your hand it's the quality of the bottle is amazing you guys can see the steam coming out from my hot tea but I love this bottle I love this product and I really recommend that you guys all try it if you guys are trying to get rid of any bloating if you guys are trying to you know really like cleanse your system out but once again it is really important to do like frequent cleanses to detox yourself you know to really get those toxins out of your body and this does help once again with yeast infections and stuff like that in my personal opinion so if you guys want to try this product out I will leave the link to it down in the description and you guys can also use my code which is 25 key to get a 25% discount off if you use $29 or if you spend $29 and over. 
So I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. I know that there's so much more information that I could have added, but I do not want to make this video too long. And that is exactly why I reach out to you guys to share your experiences, share your knowledge. This is exactly why I created this platform so that we can all learn from each other. So share your experiences, share some tips, share whatever it is that you want to share down in the comments to help your other fellow sisters out. It also helps me out a lot and I learn a lot from you guys. So make sure you guys are leaving comments. Make sure that you guys are sharing because once again, I guarantee you you got one friend you got one friend you don't know who the friend is but I guarantee you you got one friend who can benefit from this information right now so share 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 and if you are not yet part of my family and you stuck around till the end of the video baby join the family by banging on that subscribe button and turn on your notification bell that way you'll be notified whenever I post future content and I really hope to see you guys in my next one bye